It is as spicy as it gets, kinda. It's like one of the top subjects. We've been informed about this a few days ago. You remember me reading something on the stream and being like, oh boy, oh boy, oh my, oh shit, oh, oh okay, oh, oh, <laughs> but I couldn't say anything. I was like, fuck, I can't even say that I'm not supposed to say. Um, and yeah, we have two things to do, uh, to go through. One is the unique upgrades. Uh, apparently they have released more information, um, about the unique upgrades. And, uh, from what I've seen, people are not happy. Um, so we'll see about that. And the second thing, well, well let me just show you. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is what you think it is. And it is coming back. It's Kitakami. Um, I don't think there has been a single ship in this game that has ever been requested more by the community uh, than this ship. To 99% of you, most likely, uh, this... You don't know shit about this besides what you've uh, what you've heard, um, because this was only very very early in the game, uh, something like uh, closed beta, maybe in alpha, I'm not sure. And then they instantly removed the ship. They tried to uh, they they basically tried to put it back, um, but it it just wouldn't work and then they given atagos interpreters and gold to people who have purchased it and it's not been in the game for like 5 years <coughs> yeah my cough is still here i feel a lot better uh but my cough has been killing me since last night so yeah um that's one one side effect you're going to have to deal with me today now for those of you who don't know this is a tier 4 cruiser, okay? It's a Kuma. It's literally Kuma. There's just one big difference. It's got 40 torpedo tubes. 40. 20 on each side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 launchers of 4 torpedoes on each side. So that's 20 on left, sorry, 20 on right, 20 on left side. Um, but it's still basically a tier 4 cruiser. The guns are only a couple of these single barreled guns. And super low HP pool, no armor. Um, yeah, so this originally was a tier 8 cruiser with 10 kilometer torpedoes. And... Um, Hmm. Bearable, thank you for the gifted sub, by the way. Thank you very much. It wasn't easy to play. Um, okay, let's put it this way. It wasn't easy to play successfully. Because it was a super light cruiser in a tier 8. That would occasionally end up in a tier 10 matchmaking. Uh, and when you get spotted, everybody wait, basically just leaves that part of the map. They just vacant, vacant. How do you call it? Is it vacant or vacant? That entire area and your torpedoes do nothing. However, however, Wargaming has come up with an idea on how to make this ship work. Now, we have talked with Wargaming on the CC Summit and in numerous occasions before. And um, we've pretty much always asked them about Kitakami. And they have said, vacate, okay, vacate, yeah, I don't even know how I said it before, vacant and vacant, aha, vacate, yes, yeah, they would vacate the area, I think I, I said it correctly there, um, Wargaming has given us a hint that they don't currently have any real plan of putting it back, however, there is a chance, now that deep water torpedoes have been invented, that this might come into the game. 
um, because, you know, 40 torpedoes of regular, just regular torpedoes were just simply too fucking strong. <coughs> um, so deep water was an option. Then World Gaming decides to make something very, very, very unusual that uh, part of me is super happy about it because looking at it from the point of view of playing with these things and having fun and trying to do all the Sunday fun day events and memes, the crazy shit that we will be doing with this and the funny stuff is just going to be of epic proportions. Um, so I'm very much excited and looking forward. Um, but then there's another part of me that knows that a ship like this should never be in the game because it's ridiculous. Um, and wargaming, if they're smart, <clears throat> um, they will limit it to one per team tops. Even in a division, do not you're not able to to carry more than one because even one of these fuckers can cause some serious damage and a problem. However. I seriously doubt Wargaming is going to do such a smart thing and limit this to just one per team uh, or one per division or both. Um, we're going to be seeing divisions of three of these. Now, these have literally no gun firepower. They don't. Like, they literally don't. Um, they got no armor and they got no HP. You're going to get fucked up the second you get spotted. And trust me... If there's one thing that they're going to be wanting to shoot more than a destroyer, that's you. However, Wargaming has came up with a plan on how to make this thing uh, more balanced, which is hilarious. Let's take a look. First of all, you can see that it's no longer a tier 8, it's an actually tier 10 ship. I mean, I can just imagine if something like this comes across uh, Smolensk where their HP pools are pretty much similar, uh, but Smolensk will just close its eyes, press and hold left mouse button, five seconds later this thing is dead. Anyway, Kitakami is an unusual cruiser with her main armament consisting of five quadruple torpedo launchers on each side. These torpedoes can travel up to 15 kilometers at a speed of 57 knots and deal 15.6 thousand damage. So... They used to be tier 8, 10 kilometer torpedoes. Now they're tier 10, 15 kilometer torpedoes. They're pretty damn slow, but it's fucking 20 of them on each side. And they go 15 kilometers. And this thing is pretty small. So you're going to be able to do some pretty badass um, stealth firing. Especially if you have a destroyer in front of you to scout. Because of her relatively fragile armor, I mean, she literally has got no armor. Weak AA defense, she's got none. Like, I don't even see her AA defense. I don't see a single machine gun in this picture. Anywhere. Maybe those. I'm not sure. And low HP pool, Kitakami has to rely on her low basic detectability. 10.6. Dudes, this is basic detectability of 10.6. So, when you drop this by 20% due to the upgrade and... Uh, What's it called? <coughs> Captain? That's, uh... That's more than two kilometers. <coughs> <coughs> like two and a half. With concealment, camo, and everything. So this thing... Will be about eight kilometer detection. That's better than some destroyers. Seriously, that's better than some destroyers. And to make matters crazier... She's going to have like 8 kilometer detection with 15 kilometer torpedoes and a special smoke generator which has low smoke duration but a large number of charges. It's going to carry its own goddamn smoke. The main gameplay of the cruiser revolves around stealthy attacks using a large number of torpedoes from a safe distance. To balance... <laughs> <laughs> Kitakami's efficiency in the control of straights and flanks. She will only have access to narrow and super narrow torpedo spreads. So that that's like, like how the fuck is that balancing anything? That's just making it worse. 
instead of spreading torpedoes everywhere like a moron, you're going to be flooding relatively narrow, relatively narrow uh, places, and you're gonna you're gonna leave these torpedoes to be so tight that nobody who finds themselves there is gonna have a chance to dodge. We will carefully watch how this unusual cruiser will prove herself in battle and will implement the necessary changes to make playing her and against her interesting. I would love if Wargaming would tell me how is playing against this going to be interesting? What is going to be interesting about trying to dodge 40 torpedoes that are super narrow or narrow coming to your face if you're lucky if you're not they're coming on your broadside they're not very fast but what's going to be interesting about that i mean it may be challenging <laughs> not interesting well flambu i mean trendler i mean flambas it's been a year since i decided to be special Good times, maybe one day I'll remember which one you are. Kappa, keep up the content, but also keep to Camilules inbound. Oh, yeah. Thank you for full year, Durak, and welcome to Choco League, dude. Much appreciated. So, like I said, there's two there's two, two little flambas sitting on, my, on each of my shoulder, and one is super duper excited, because I didn't play this ship. I have played a long time side of these ships and i've played against these ships i haven't played these ships myself so one part of me is super excited um to to finally get the chance and the other one is like oh my god and then uh, someone in between says well the, they're, they're they're already destroying the game with all the he spam long range sniping and all the other bullshit why not they literally put everything else. There's far more toxic crap than this. Surely they can squeeze this one in as well. Maybe Wargaming is running out of money. Maybe maybe the game's dying. Who knows? Maybe this is the last... I've, I've said it a billion times before. I've said it a billion times before. Dudes, the game is still fine until we see Kitakami back. Then I'm going to be concerned. Because that is the last ace up Wargaming sleeve to pull off huge amount of money because everybody and their fucking mothers are going to be buying these absolutely fucking literally have no doubts when this comes out for the first couple of days it's going to be a shit show an absolute shit show um so i don't know should i be happy should i be concerned should i be mad angry i don't know i have a mixture of feelings uh, between excited and, 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 and happy to being, oh my god, e and everything in between. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Additionally, we understand there might be concerns about the ship dealing damage to allies, and we plan to take them into account when the ship will be released. Um, how? What are you going to do? Are you going to turn off friendly damage now? Oh my god, that's the last thing we need. That's the last thing we need. We need the friendly damage to be turned off so people can launch torpedoes without using any brain from back of the line, constantly torping their teammates and yelling at them how they fucking idiots didn't get out of the way. Oh, uh, mark my words. Now let's take a look at the ship's characteristics. 28 and a half thousand HP. That is by far the lowest HP pool of any tier 10 cruiser. Um, I think Kaba gets like 26, 28, um, Harugumo, like, they literally have this HP pool, plating 16 millimeter, basically non-existent, it's got four guns, yeah, and th that's one, that's two, that's three, and the fourth one is on that side, so all four of them are on the front, and you can shoot maximum of two to three at a time, good luck doing anything with these in tier 10. Firing range, 13.1 kilometer. Um, I honestly wish it was half of this, just so when you accidentally shoot them, you don't get detected at such huge range, but okay. Uh, maximum HSL, blah, blah, blah. Nobody fucking cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Six second reload time. Yeah, it's horrible. It's just dog shit. Blah, blah, blah. Now, torpedo tubes. Ten times four. 
610 millimeter, maximum damage 15.6, range 15 kilometers, speed 57 knots, reload 2 minutes and 21 seconds. That's without the captain, that's without the module. So you will be dropping this below 2 minutes. Which is absolutely fine. Um, in comparison to all the other DDs, it's like, it's it's perfectly fine. Two minutes to reload 40 fucking torpedoes. Not that's not only that's fine, if they put double this, if they put four minute reload, that would be like, um, yeah, you don't have to fire all the torpedoes in one go, you know, you can fire half or a quarter. Um, but this is just a no brainer. You can just unleash hell every two two minutes, basically. Fast rotation and 1.9 kilometer detectability. Now, this is the trick. 1.9 is pretty shit. That's almost 2 kilometer detection. And these torpedoes, unlike, for example, Shima Torps and other things, are not exactly fast. They're only 57 knots. Now, you could go for torpedo acceleration and put them up to 62 knots, which is still not too fast, but it's not bad. They will still have 1.9, I think, detectability in the water. However, uh, you're dropping your 15 kilometer range to, I think, 12 by doing so. So, you're going to have to decide if that's actually worth it in a tier 10. Might not be. <coughs> but that's going to be a possibility. Plus, uh, there might be another module. I don't know if that's only for DDs or if that's available for cruisers as well. The one that gives you... I don't know, 5% or 2% or something like that. That gives you additional couple of knots of speed. Uh, which means that you could be able to put these to like 60 knots by default. Put 15 kilometers or maybe even 65 knots. Which is already pretty damn fast. Um, 12 kilometers. So, well, there's going to be some experimenting. It does have something. 10 triple 25 millimeters and one double 127 mil. I don't see a single one of these things, so I'm guessing they're all in the back. Maybe this is one of them, I'm not sure. I don't know where the fuck did they put 10 of these triple 25 mounts, but that's that's literally your short range AA. Eh? You're not gonna do anything with this. God help anyone in this ship against the carrier. God help you. You're going straight to hell. You're literally going to get murdered in, in two rocket strikes. Especially now where we're getting AP rockets. Like, if there's a Kitakami and you're in a carrier, fucking go and kill it. It's gonna have nothing to stop you. Uh, it's gonna have a lot of smoke screens, apparently. But yeah. Um, blah, blah, blah. Defense. Mm, one flak. <laughs> yeah, great. 32 knots, 640 turning circle, rudder shift of 7 seconds, 10.6 base detectability by air 7.2, after shooting in smoke 4.6, consumables, damage control, smoke generator, engine boost, and repair party. All stats are listed without crew number, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so smoke generator, action time, 15 seconds only. Oh my god, that's really... Oh no, sorry, action time is 15 seconds, duration is 40 seconds. This is like a British smoke screen. Reload time, 80 seconds. So you're going to be like 25 seconds without smoke. Charges, 6. Okay, so this is actually nothing unusual. This is British smoke screens. I think they last exactly like this, right? It's like 10, 15 seconds action time. Um, and then another 30 or 40 seconds <clears throat> of actual duration time. Um, six with superintendent seven. So interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, and it's gonna have an engine boost. Probably not a particularly great one, just a regular engine boost. Um, I'm guessing just enough to be able to keep up with the DDs, aka running away from DDs. Yeah, that's Kitakami, you see. Um, yeah. So instead of 10 kilometer torpedoes, we're getting 15 kilometer torpedoes. Instead of being this being tier 8, it's going to be tier 10. Instead of not having smoke screen, it's going to have smoke screen. 
Torpedo reload is fine. Speed is... Uh, it's not great, but with modules and stuff, you can definitely get it to be pretty damn good. I think this is going to be a very, very problematic ship to play and play against. Um, like I said, I have a dose of excitement and happiness that this is coming back so that I get to actually play it and, and troll and meme with it. Because let's face it, at this time... How does Twitch Prime work again? Uh, just like that. Thank you for two months, Bismarck. Um, but in the same time... They're, they're turning this game into a meme. Let's face it, with all the HE spam, with all the carriers, with all the magic spells... Now we're getting torpedo spam as well. Uh, if Summers and uh, Venom weren't enough. It's a, it's a meme game at this point. Um, and I'm... I'm going to have as much fun as I can for as long as I can uh, in it. Because, let's face it, this is pretty hilarious. Um, yeah, we'll see. Um, killing this thing is going to be exceptionally easy. Uh, gunboat DDs, uh, carriers, uh, I mean anything, to be honest. Like, literally anything. You, the only problem is going to be actually detecting it and keeping it detected. Um, I didn't see, um, oh, it's gonna have a repair party because it's a tier 10 cruiser. Oh, okay. So damage control with heal and engine boost and smoke. Oof. 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 Oh, man. Oh, man. Ah, uh, you guys gotta tell me what you think about this. I uh, like, <laughs> I have... I have all sorts of emotions and feelings and thoughts about this and, and Wargaming's decision to finally bring it back. I, I'm, I'm like, I'm all over the place. But yeah. 